Call to Arms 1.1 has hit the Artifact servers on December 13th, and with it comes some long-awaited community features with exciting information on future updates. Let's take a look. One of Artifact's biggest successes, the Call to Arms event has some new additions this update. A mono blue deck named Death From Above and a mono black deck titled Dark Aggro have been added to the roster for players to use in their Call to Arms event games. Alongside this, a random deck feature has also been included, letting combatants receive a random Call to Arms deck each time they queue up for a game with this setting selected. A feature designed for players who have mastered the Call to Arms mode, this setting has its own streak tracker, which will carry a much higher prestige for players who accept the challenge. While on the topic of streak trackers, there are now individual streak trackers for each pre-constructed deck in the event, giving you a better sense of how well you do with each and every archetype. Both global and friends-only leaderboards have also been implemented to create a bit of competition and that much-needed sense of community. Tournaments, possibly one of Artifact's biggest community engagement tools, has also received an update in 1.1. Automated tournaments where you can simply queue up and be placed in an already-made event have been added, with a rotating suite of modes. This current inaugural open tournament setting is Popper, a Magic the Gathering term that refers to decks constructed solely from commons. This format, outside of this update, has been steadily growing a following thanks to its interesting deck building challenges and low barrier of entry. This first open tournament format is also paired up with a new tournament type, Free For All. During a Free For All tournament, you will have a set amount of time to play as many games of Artifact that you can, being paired up instantly with someone else in the tournament after every game. The tournament organizers can control how many rematches between players it will allow you for the duration of that tournament. After time is up, the player with the highest number of wins is declared the victor. This is a frantic mode that incentivizes fast play and conceding to get in as many games as possible. Do you run an aggro deck to quickly overwhelm your opponent, or should you run a control strategy to force a fast concede? Continuing this theme of having the community engage with one another, chat wheels have also been added this update. Simply mouse over any one of your heroes or creeps and press Y to bring up a wheel of sound bites that can be broadcasted to you and your opponent. Selecting the bottom option will let you type out a custom message to be sent instead. Additionally, at any point in time you can invite your non-Steam friend opponent to a Steam chat and talk from there as well. Annoying opponents can be silenced entirely, as all of these features are opt-outable. Further additions to the single-player bot modes have also been added. A new bot challenge gauntlet has been implemented that will pair you up with an increasingly difficult AI over 5 games, winning 5 before losing 2 as normal. Alongside this change, the easy bot AI difficulty has been lowered. Rounding out the new features this update is new support for colorblind players. A much requested addition, you can now control the saturation of the colors of all the cards in the client, or have banners added that pertain to what house the card is from. A welcome addition with nice form and function. This update also included a suite of bug fixes and stability improvements, but perhaps most interestingly with information about the next big update. In a blog post, Valve has confirmed that they aim to get the next one out sometime during next week, and most notably that the update features, quote, a skill-based progression system, an incredibly requested feature that should serve both the casual and competitive community. That's all for this update. Check out our other videos for more artifact content. Subscribe for more update videos, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.